High school playoff hoops and we begin with the 5A boys showdown in Flowertown. Goose Creek against Somerville. Remember, the Green Wave beat the Gators by 19 on January 6th. Tonight, a trip to the lower state final on the line. Now an overflow crowd and the subsequent humidity caused condensation on the court. That was a major problem. More on that in a moment. Watch Justin Britt of the Gators right here. We'll take the pass. He will go baseline and make it count. He had 21 39 33 Goose Creek at the half. Yannick Smith was good for the Green Wave. Watch him take the pass coming up right here and he's going to go right to the bucket and score. Smith led all scores tonight with 24. At the other end, Britt with the ball, and he's going to look for the open man. It will be Elijah Dates. Dates with 23 big points tonight. He makes it 46-42 Goose Creek. This one tight throughout. There was a one-hour rain delay, excuse me, a one-hour delay as they move the spectators out of the gym to cool things off. The wet floor, a major issue. You see the stands now empty. The Gators able to make the big plays down the stretch, and they advance to the lower state final 62-59. Seniors, you know, seniors had to make plays. Our seniors made plays there, especially in the third and fourth quarter. Uh, Justin Britt and Elijah, uh, Dates stepping up there. Daquan playing good minutes there. Uh, Gabe White. So it's really, you know, over the years, it's really you got to have senior leadership and guys who make plays late, and it means a little more to seniors. Now we'll circle back to more boys action in a moment. Two of the top girls teams in the state battled at Stratford this evening. The Knights hosting Somerville. And as we told you at six, Kelly McNeil and Calvin Davis, longtime friends going head to head tonight early on. Nevia Matthews for three, Somerville on top early. Coming up off the green wave inbounds, Molly Daughtry will can the three in Somerville, looking pretty good, up 8-4 very early on. Then the Knights start to make a move. Kristen Prudhomme to Yasmin Cook. Cook, three ball corner pocket, got it. It's a one-point game. Then coming up, Knights with the ball, moving it, Prudhomme to Cook, back to Prudhomme. She gives the Knights a one-point lead after one. Stratford wins the rubber match and advances to the lower state final, 44-34. to 34. In 2A boys action, the Oceanside Land Sharks hosting Mullins. This one started to get out of hand second quarter. Justin Coleman muscling his way inside for two. Quinton Hollis's guys take it over at this point. Land Sharks on the fast break. Reed Warden with a layup and the foul. Then at the other end, Jonelle Sindab converts for Mullins, but not much for the visitors on this night. All OCA from that second quarter on. Coming up, watch the double block right here by the Oceanside defenders, and that led to this, an easy layup at the other end by Travis Stickney. The route is on. Malachi Stevens coming up with the exclamation point, barreling through the lane for a one-hand slam. Let's take a nice slow-mo look at it, everybody. This is nice as Oceanside advances. I wish I could do that. 101-48 your final. We have eight seniors that want to, they're hungry and we want to win, so I think it was just all that. They just all came together, playing together, energy from the bench and on the court, and it was just, they all came together for the win. We just knew we had to do the little things the whole game. We just couldn't have the stupid turnovers, and we had a couple of those in the first half. Once we got going, we knew we, there was no going back our relentless defense and again when guys got tired they gave it all another guy came in tonight was about 11 deep so guys just gave it up and really locked in on defense that was the key tonight 